supporting the 72 pin-sharp spikes above my head. One last thing. Should anything go wrong, the gag you see will make it impossible for me to call for help. Once the timer is activated, I'll be running a 20-second race with death. Take a bow. That's it. And cut. Hey. Great. Can we cross that one off the list? You can I cross that so. one off the list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Beautiful stuff. Oh, thank you very much, Dominic. That was as close as I ever care to come. What do you mean close? You had the lock pick in the curtain. Mm-hmm. Only somebody removed it. How'd you get loose? Dominic, you don't really think I was going to get under those spikes with just one lock pick, do you? <laughs> You're beautiful. Yeah. magician today would be that there is nothing except David Copperfield on the air now and this does have an element of the mystique simply by being the magician
Thank you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. You've been a very gracious audience, and now it is my privilege to introduce magician Larry Anderson. Thank you. I'm terribly impressed. Well, thank you very much. Maybe that floating lady is the second trick you should do for the big trip. Uh, no, 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 no. Don't, don't start playing producer now, Max. I won't like that. He has nothing to worry about. I don't have the talent or the inclination. You know, when I, uh, when I was a little boy, I used to feel like everybody else, that Max was a combination of Hitler and Napoleon. But then he'd pick me up and he'd bounce me on his shoulders. One day he even carried me all over the studio. And he made me feel very special. Contrary to what you and Mr. Braden may believe, I don't get any pleasure from stepping on his toes. I suppose under other circumstances, I could like him as a human being. And I do have a genuine respect for his talent. Tell me, what do you think the chances are from Millennium 12? We've got a good script, a great director, and the film that's already in the can looks sensational. Mm. But you, uh, you're dodging the question. How much over budget are you as a result of accidents and delays? That information is not for sale, even for the price of a very entertaining magic show. Oh, well, in that case, I have a fascinating collection of rare magic books. Right next to your etchings? Hmm. How about another drink? That won't work either. All right, all right, all right. It's a consolation prize. Let us assume that Braden International goes broke. Is there another motion picture company in the wings waiting to take over? Too high price for a piece of real estate. Only people with enough capital or huge land developers. Well, considering its location, I'd say a lot of developers would be interested. One in particular. And I will let you have that information. For the price of a refill. Dominic, I want you to find out all you can about a Best Way construction company. They're the ones... 70% off Entertainment Weekly, and you'll get the new Rock Anthems collection free. Two CDs of, of those old songs would be like bringing back your old friends. Tony, when you described this, I was fascinated. Now that I'm faced with the reality of it, I I feel like saying no. You still can, Max. If I did, I'm probably here reverberations all the way to New York. We're ready, Mr. Rosenthal. Right, get everything clear. Places, please. Be careful. I'm nervous. Everyone who's not in the picture, please clear the camera. Well, have we got everything in sync, Brooks? Absolutely. Now we've only got one take. I hope we don't blow it. We're ready. Everyone, please watch the shadows from those lights and stand very, very still. Special effects, when Mr. Rosenthal gives you the signal, start the fog machines. Now stay quiet. Roll, please. Scene 287, Charlie. Take one, please. All set? Now, just take it easy, Tony. And... Action. Ladies and gentlemen, you're about to see what I consider to be one of the world's most unique escapes. To my left is a brand new safe, sophisticated, solid steel, the finest anyone could buy. And now, I would like to introduce you to the man who manufactured it, Mr. R.J. Fellows of the Lansing Company, San Francisco. <clears throat> Mr. Fellows, can you tell me, sir, has anyone tampered with this particular safe? No, sir, no one. And how many people know the combination? Just me, I'm the only person who knows. Thank you, Mr. Fellows. Now, Mr. Fellows will lock me in the safe, and this crane, which is located on the other side of the wall, will lower me to the bottom. That clock 
will keep the time. And if, for any reason, I do not escape within two minutes, it will hoist me out of the water and Mr. Fellows will release me. The divers that you see behind me will enter the pool only in the event of an emergency. And now, Mr. Fellows, I am your prisoner.
and more out of life. CompuServe, the information service you won't outgrow. Introducing Capio, iced cappuccino, new from Maxwell House. Capio Mocha, a splash of chocolate flavor. Capio Cinnamon, an unexpected twist. Capio Coffee, smooth and refreshing. So many tastes. So little time. New Capio. The thrill is the kill. You better stay here. It's a pretty rough ride. Yeah, right. My brother doesn't know what my Murray Flexor can do. The spring-loaded fork handles the tough stuff. No problem. And the oversized tubing is made for rugged riding. Yeah, he had no idea what my Murray Flexor could do. But he does now. Hey, Flexor by Murray. Coming up on the Sci-Fi Channel. Does your long-distance company treat you just like everyone else? Well, now there's long-distance made for the way you call. The iPlan. Only from AT&T. From AT&T. The magic was integrated into more of what became an action show, and then some of it was resolved through the magic that built it. I took the liberty of assembling this footage not the way it would appear in your neighborhood theater, but rather to show you how I managed to vanish and apprehend Mr. Quinn. Now, most of the footage is from our own cameras. However, some of it that I've spliced into the film came from two cameras that I had hidden around the pool. Well, you'll see for yourselves. Would you roll the film, please? Now, as you can see, I was actually locked inside the safe. And if you'll notice on the back of the door, this small plate held by only four screws covers the entire locking mechanism of this safe. Now, in order to vanish, first I had to escape. And that's not so baffling once you know a simple secret. Safes were meant to keep people out, not keep them in. Now, the second I was inside the safe, there were two things that I had to do. One was to reverse my tank top which was striped underneath, the same as the divers, and two, remove a screwdriver that I'd hidden in my swim trunks. Now, by the time the safe had reached the bottom of the pool, I had already removed the plate, released the locking mechanism, and screwed the plate back in place. So, essentially, I already had escaped. I swam to the bottom of the safe, where I had hidden a wig and a face mask. Of course, the people above couldn't see it because of the opaque surface. Now, I had only one problem left, and that was to release the crane hook. But when I got there, I discovered that somebody had already done it for me. Now, my two minutes were up, and Rosenthal was concerned. So he ordered the safe raised out of the water, but the hook came up empty. As a result, he ordered the divers into the water. One, two, and three. But Dominic never did go into the pool. He stayed there, and while the crowd was watching with all that confusion, he went back into the dressing room, jumped into the shower and soaked himself as if he had been in the pool. Now you see three swimmers underwater. Now when the hook is connected, a fourth swimmer. Of course, I am the fourth swimmer. As I got out of the pool, I was the one that yelled, somebody get some oxygen. Over here I had a lady faint, but that was for diversion. Watch, as I enter the room, immediately Dominic comes out carrying the oxygen bottle, and totally wet as if he had been in the pool. Now, while I was in the cabana, I changed into my sweatsuit, went out a back door, and snuck around the bushes that surround the pool. Obviously, the problem had to be at the crane, since someone had deliberately released the hook. In the interim, of course, everyone was anticipating my demise. Poor Mr. Quinn. He got quite a shock. Of course, he gave Mr. Neil Hauser quite a shock when he led homicide detectives right into the offices of Bestway Construction. 
Now, there is one more shot that I would like you to see. And this footage immediately precedes the film you just saw. Now, one can only speculate on what was being said here. But I would like to think that Max had some last-minute reservations. Everyone knew that Brayton International was on the brink of financial ruin. But what we didn't know is that its founder was, too. I don't think there's any point going on with this. I... I'm guilty. I... I freely admit that, although I... I don't understand it. Well, I, I know I'm old. I thought I was past caring about superficial things. But what fills me with unbearable regret is that a man died, and I didn't have the human decency to come forward and admit my complicity. I even allowed myself to become involved in the potential possible destruction of another man. And I love enough to wish you were my own son. I can't even ask you to forgive me, Tony. They live and work alongside humans. Now an L.A. cop and a newcomer detective are crime-fighting partners. Alienation, Saturdays at 7 p.m. Eastern on Sci-Fi.
Look in there. See? Let me out of here. Hey, silly. I don't see that one. Say that again. Wait till I get on there. Hey, oh, yeah. A Yeah. There is it. I go over. Hey, 
Why don't you get him back off of there now? He doesn't want to stay levitated for his whole life. So get him down quick. Okay. Wake up. Put the supports back. I don't. When you dial nine, it'll. Okay. Yeah, I need you for just a second. You're on national television and you're making a fool of yourself. You got some schmutz, some, some something in your facial hair. I don't know if you had like a popcorn snack or some Rice Krispie treats. I gotta go. Hi, how are you? It's important here at the network that we look after those people who are guest starring on our shows so that they don't publicly humiliate themselves and maybe never get a call back to be on Mission Impossible or other fine, important shows. And speaking of important shows, we have one premiering on Monday afternoon, 3.30 Eastern, 2.30 Central, hosted by Jeff Probst, assisted by child psychiatrist Dr. Linda Freeman. She's a psychiatrist. Don't forget. Don't mess with psychiatry. She knows this stuff inside and out. It's called Family Business, teaching you and your children how you can better communicate and understand each other. We certainly hope you'll join us Monday, 3.30 Eastern, 2.30 Central. Platform for bombing. There were also problems fitting the large nuclear weapons of the day. Because it's not just wild, it's hot. You're sweating. So hot, they'll leave you speechless. Oh, my heart! Ah! Dazed. Uh, uh. And thirsting for much, much more. Nothing like Okavango spring water. FX makes it easy to get the wild weekend heat you're craving. I'm going in my new Corvette. Do the wild thing. Catch the heat of Untamed Weekend exclusively on FX. What? A game warning is for the forest. There you go, Billy. Is this a forest? We didn't film the back of the forest. Too bad. Don't touch it before he disappears. David Copperfield vanished an airplane. David Copperfield made the Statue of Liberty disappear. Target presents all new David Copperfield illusion. Realigning logic. Redefining magic. Copperfield. Beyond imagination. David Copperfield, October 27th at Chrysler Hall. Tickets available at all Ticketmaster outlets or call 871-8100. We have a check. It's made out to Jerry's kids from me. 1,000 bucks. Hey, John, John, give, give the check to Cindy. Give the check to Cindy, John. Okay. Go ahead. You want us to give, you want us to give yeah, it to Cindy? Yeah, give it to Cindy. Yeah, give it to a person. person. Cindy, John. We can right, do a it's check. Not, it's not, it's Sign not it first. Sign on. it real quick. Well, let's give her the check. We can get your autograph after the show, John. Beautiful. John, it's fine. This is give her the check and let's cover her up and send her back. Go ahead and cover up your pyramid, John. Jerry, let's get ours yeah. over here. Okay, oh, friends, yeah. we're all set. Well, pre the pretty side out. Right. Oh, there. <laughs> how am I Jerry, doing, swing Brian? right around here. Let's cover right, it up here. Right, gotcha. Hey, Franz, how am I doing? You're doing great, John. How are you doing here, Jerry? I'm doing fine, friends. All right. We're going to try to send her back. Maybe Cindy can bring up some maybe deli food as well. A nice corned beef sandwich for Jerry. <laughs> Yeah, I'm right here, Franz. We're all covered up. Go to Wolfie's and get it. me a hot pastrami. Vanish her. She's on her way. Jerry, you ready? See if we got her. We got her. Oh, yes. I can't believe it. Show us your hands. Put your hands up. Look at her hands. There's AT upside down. And we'll give a check to Jerry. 
John Tess's signature, $1,000 for my kids. That's incredible. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Let's have a good 190 one. cutlasses were built. A little less caffeine backstage, all right? This should be interesting. <laughs> David Copperfield is brought to you by the Clorox Company, with the tradition of providing quality household products to American families. That was a good trick. <laughs> Think her robe is white? Not next to his Clorox white. This looks white. But look again. Let's face it, clothes washed and detergent alone can look dull and dingy.
But it doesn't have to be that way. Because adding Clorox liquid bleach every time you wash brings out a white that's as fresh and crisp as new. Now this is the real white. Clorox liquid bleach for a brand new kind of white. Also in lemon and fresh scents. Rub-a-dub-dub, -dub, pretend you're a tub. A tub with a bad case of soap scum. Now, there are some kinds of powders that are harsh and can scratch. Ow! So would you want to be cleaned by one of them? Or would you go for the soft scrub cleanser with Clorox bleach, which gently cleans soap scum without harsh scratching? Take a stand, a harsh powder or soft scrub. Nice shot. Soft scrub with bleach and ooh, soft scrub <laughs> cleanser, preferred by tubs everywhere. The next time you and the family sit down to a healthy breakfast, consider where your sweetener comes from. Mine comes from... Pure natural sugar, the sweetener only nature could make. Introducing a whole new way to enjoy chicken. KFC's spicy chicken bites. Just $1.99 for a single serving. Get them while they last, only at KFC. Lake Edna may never be the same. Make the chicken right! If you have a question about AIDS, you can get an answer 24 hours a day by calling the National AIDS Hotline at 1-800-342-AIDS. It's time to do something in the audience. Oh, yeah. Right here, come on. What's your name? Tess. Big round of applause for Tess. Come on. I must be right here, Tess. Tess, have we ever met before? I'm going to show you something really cool. My very first trick. When I was a little kid magician, these are the shoes that I wore. <laughs> these are air coppers. You put them on, you pump them up, and you're gone. <laughs> this little shoe goes into my back pocket. This back pocket right there. Reach down inside, make sure it's empty, Tess. All the way down to the bottom. Could you do that again, please? Let me check it out. Make sure it's uh, empty there. All the way down to the bottom. <laughs> what does this mean? <laughs> it's copper feel, not copper feel. <laughs> the shoe goes into the pocket just like that test. I need to borrow your ring. What's your favorite ring? That one? Take it up, take it up. Ooh. That's pretty. His initials. T I N. <laughs> I don't get it. Tess, pull up this magnifying glass. We're going to get a nice tight shot of Tess's ring. It's very pretty. Uh, what is that? Is that a coin? Yeah. What, what kind of coin is it? Panda. A what? Panda. A panda coin. Very nice. A panda coin. Remember what it looks like. What does that shot remind you of? The Home Shopping Network. Like, watch closely, because the ring goes into my hand. Watch. Watch. Hello. Mm -hmm. Here you go. <laughs> my hands have never left your sight. But the real cool thing is, your ring has reappeared back on your finger. Check it out. That would have been good, though, huh? My hands have never left your sight. When I was a little kid magician, I used to make my friends' rings disappear. Then the rings would reappear tied into the laces of my shoes. Yeah, tied into the laces of my little shoes with their rings. Remember that little shoe in my back pocket? I haven't touched it. I haven't come close to it. But I want you to look. Just look. Because tied into the laces of that shoe is a ring. It's really on there. Is that your ring? Give her a big round of applause. Big appetite. You know, a lot of people ask me where we get the ideas for our illusions. Well, I look for inspiration everywhere. 
sometimes the inspiration will come from music. I could be listening to the radio and I'll hear a song and I'll get an idea. Let me show you what I mean. Ah, a radio. Looking for inspiration. about a half million dollars and belongs to the world's greatest hockey player. In a minute, the world's greatest magician is going to destroy it. And don't forget to have a deck of playing cards ready, because in a few minutes, you'll actually participate in an illusion with David, writing your own home on the magic of David Copperfield. It's the ultimate test of a household cleaner, the Polish sausage test. New 409 glass and surface cleaner not only cuts the grease, it cleans the glass, even grease on glass, without streaking. New 409 glass and surface cleaner. It cleans the grease, it cleans the glass. Twice the power. That makes a big difference. Professional plumbers on professional strength liquid plumbers. The other liquid drain opener is dilute in standing water. This stuff does it. It's more powerful. So twice as much power attacks the hair clog, and bam. Goodbye, clog. <laughs> Get twice the power to the clog. Nobody wears just white anymore. Now everything's bright. But how do you remove stains from bright colors without taking the color out, too? Now you can treat color special with new Color Bright Clorox 2. Clorox 2 Color Safe Bleach has special stain lifters to lift stains and brighteners to keep those pretty bright colors those pretty bright colors. So treat shirts, towels, and sheets special with new Color Bright Clorox 2, the color specialist. The magic of David Copperfield will continue. A small plane caught in a deadly downdraft. I think he's going to crash. A pilot trapped in twisted wreckage. He was real close to dead when we got there. And all who rescued 911 next. Friday nights on CBS. The wildest Friday ever with an all-new designing women. Then, how about Shelley Long's new comedy series? Nobody else ever mattered to me. None of them. None of them? Vom is bad. The premiere of Good Advice, right after those designing women, Friday. Friday, ha, ha, ha. This is CBS. At some fast food restaurants, the burgers hang around in the red light district until you drop in. Not at rallies. Every rally burger is made to order fresh for you in less than a minute. Rallies has it fresh. Rallies has it fast. Rallies has it right. Looking back, it's easy to see how first times and family make for a special occasion. And now you don't even have to look back. Just look forward to visiting Virginia Beach's first Honey Baked Ham store, where you can now get America's favorite Honey Baked Brand Ham. A first you'll consider very special. Should taxpayers pay for abortion? The story on 11 at 11. Thanks a lot. Hey, you know, a few days ago, a good friend of mine, Wayne Gretzky, who happens to be the greatest hockey player of all time, let me borrow a baseball card that he bought. It's worth about half a million dollars, just so I could try to put it back together after I first tore it up. Check it out. We're in my warehouse with Wayne Gritz 
and he's going to let me tear up this $500,000 baseball card just so I can try to magically put it back together. You sure you're going to let me do this? Well, David, they trust you with the Statue of Liberty and you brought that monument back. I think I can trust you with my baseball card, but I want you to know I'm fully insured. Oh, insured. Thanks for the vote of confidence. <laughs> this baseball card's very rare. In the early 1900s, the great shortstop, Honus Wagner, didn't want his young fans to have to buy tobacco to get his baseball card. So he had his cards recalled and destroyed. Only a few survived, and this one's in mint condition. It's sort of a Mona Lisa baseball card. That's why it's worth so much. You're really going to let me do this? Sure. Let's go. Hey, Bruce. How you doing? Fine, thank you. Good. A few years ago, Wayne and the King's owner, Bruce McNall, bought the world's most valuable baseball card for close to half a million dollars. Tonight, I'm going to try to tear it up and put it back together, believe it or not. Now, Wayne, the first thing you've got to do is take the card and take this pen and sign your name across the card. That way, we'll know it's your card, not a duplicate. You mean you want me to deface this card? Wait a minute. That baseball card is worth $500,000, and your signature is worth about $100. So it'll increase its value by a hundred bucks. Well, at least 99. That's what I'm saying. You're not too happy about that, huh? No. <laughs> and remember, guys, this is just an illusion. Oh, no. I don't want to ruin your day. Yeah. <laughs> I think you just ruined it right there. Oh. Oh. Two pieces. Pretty good, huh? That's right. Nice. <laughs> Four pieces. What do you think? Got to do that. <laughs> All right. Four pieces, each worth about $125,000 each. Only if I put them back together. It's a good thing it's insured. Wait a minute. The insurance only covers accidental damage. It doesn't cover willful destruction. Well, I guess the heat's on me. Guys, I need you to hand me the pieces. One piece at a time. Bunch. Two pieces. Wow. <laughs> up now which pretty much ruins my card no problem all i have to do is iron them out oh. <laughs> that's, great. Wow. that's great david but what about the signature oh, Wayne, no problem remember you collect baseball cards <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> I can like autographs. Name uh, dropper. <laughs> you know, after I finish performing at night, sometimes I like to just hang out on stage. Everybody's left the theater, and it's, well, it's kind of a, a special time for me. I love the magic of an empty theater. Especially in the no smoking section. Especially after the show. <laughs>